This isn't a jail and never has been. There are places for the, where they would consider dangerously mentally ill. And if they would consider that, they wouldn't have been brought here in the first place. They would have been sent up there. Initially, when they first opened up, they were state hospitals. You didn't have to be mentally ill. You could have been alcoholic, it could have been just a behavior problem. This was a model that was done because at the time it was the largest brick project in New York State. Now the model was done by a university, New York University. The model was done in 1935. The facility opened in 1931, but didn't take any patients until 1932. Are they demolishing and building something else or it's just... Well that's Heartland Corporation. I mean he had some right. big plans but nothing's been approved. This wasn't a nice treatment. If somebody was out of control and they couldn't control the person at all, believe it or not, they would fill this up with ice water oh, okay. and put you in it. And whatever was bothering you wasn't bothering you no more. Okay. You always got to put everything in a time frame of when it was being used, all right? This was late 1800s, early 1900s. The reason they're not being used anymore is the medication's so good now. Those are keys clients made to escape with. Like you can see they did a good job today. It's very treatment on We want to get people out of here as soon as possible. So it's program, program every, every hour on the hour. It was basically a city. It had everything any city would have. It had a post office, the federal government put in it. There's so many people living on the grounds of this facility. Uh, they had their own newspapers. News. All three facilities had their own newspaper. I don't know the exact dates, but I mean, it went on from almost the beginning until Jesus, not, not that many years ago. The murals are always important. Done in the 50s, we're going by what we see in the pictures. I don't know who did them. Well, each hospital had their own nursing school. And pretty much anybody who worked here who was a therapy aide could have went to nursing school mm -hmm. and got an RN. Okay. If somebody wasn't a danger to themselves or others, they were let out of the buildings. 